Okay, I'm not gonna judge. With this episode three, Prince of Stride, it was one of the intense races ever in this episode. Normally sports shows, at, normally sports shows, sports anime shows will, all the action starts like what, five or six, maybe even four. But episode three kicks it. I mean, what the fuck was going on? You could feel the tensity, the, the aura of these rivalries going at it head to head, you know. It's between this school and then this school. You get the idea. Now, I was in touch. At first, I thought the opening. At first, I thought this was the opening. But when I saw it, it was just so in the Galaxy Stri Galaxy Standard promo. Because each brand, like I said, each team got to have a logo. And the, the top team, so I say high school, had this logo. You know, Galaxy Standard. They were doing a commercial to skip. Now, not only the singers, but they're runners as well. So I think to myself, okay, they... They top school, so they probably have a chance of winning the entire race. But let me let me just kick things off with a thing that I like to say. What the fuck was going on? I mean, let me tell you this. But the highlights of this, I'm gonna point things out. Like Riku Yagami, the main guy is so important in this episode because basically the other team met him, and everybody was like, "Wait a minute, you're telling me they don't want to say it. They don't want to say it." So, in my view. I think that everybody wants to see him. I think everybody wants to see his brother. Let's put it like that. Everybody wants to see his brother because, oh, they know him. Because I don't think Riku knows his brother that well. So everybody just like shoo, swaying the question like, hey, are you? Wait, you don't happen. It's like they know him, but he don't know his brother like that. So that's why. Also, the funny thing about Armin and the dress thing, yes. Um, apparently, I was laughing because they actually showed a commercial of him wearing a dress. And they got on a big billboard with him in a dress, exactly. And when you look at it, you'll see like, hey, that's Armin from Attack on Titan. And you can see the comparison if you've actually seen it. If you look at it very closely, you understand why. Now, as I go along with the page, I'm gonna skip a little few things because there's some important stuff that was kind of funny to me. Especially when they meet the team, you know, and the one with the purple hair, he's like the captain. Again, when I said about the intensity, the eye contact, this is like, that's like serious, you really want to face him. And the other guy with the glasses, he really wanted to face him dead on, like really, I don't, I don't care. But yeah, so anyway, moving on. As this whole thing, as they worked out a strategy, they had, it was a symbol of roles, you know, who won the first race from the fifth race. So the first race was Riku Yagami and Asuma Mazumi. Now, this race was in close. Let me tell you how close I let me tell you how close it was. We're talking about actually before I even get that, let me talk about this. The first race was Riku and Asuma. Now, again, he's asking him a question. He's like, hey, do you you don't happen to be told me? He's like, sorry, it's really a bad time for this. I guess he's probably real, real famous that the fact that he don't want to ask him, but you get the idea. Now, the second race features Hosame Konita, that's the one in the dress, and Bataro. Now, he, the Bataro, the second one, he's a funny dude. I mean, because the, the people, they don't have like a logo of their own. So, people in their blue jerseys doesn't have, Stride doesn't have a logo, they get blue jerseys. While the other team, so I say high school, like by the time records, you know what I mean? It's like that. But, He's making fun of him on the base of the dress, like, hey, you look like the guy from the look. I was like laughing. Now, next we have featured the Captain Heath and Tatsuku streaming show. So I was like, looking at the one above it, he's really serious. He don't even care who he wants to face against. That's it. Now, Ayumu, the Shogi King, Shogi Club, you know, I don't just think he's my least favorite racer, runner, because I don't really, he's not a trickster type, you know, and he's not between the other. Out of the five, I feel like he's not. I feel like he's not that strong of a runner. And the fifth one is Reiji and Takuyu. Takuyu is the one with the glasses. I said, and Reiji is the one who got the same, same little um keychain as he got. And he doesn't like uh, Takuyu doesn't like take things. He he's a serious dude. He wants to win. And I don't blame him for runners being a winner. I don't blame him. But let me point these out. As the race starts. I'm gonna go play this for a bit because I'm gonna point out how reaction reviews this. Because like, the race was going, he was running like a bullet train. I, Riku Yagami was, he was in the lead for almost a good start. But then 
But then when he saw that bars, there was like the bars, he actually jumped over. He flipped over. I'm like, damn. And he passed Riku Yagami out of the blue. So I'm like, he can't, I mean, like, point for his running though, he got it. I mean, that was really intense. Now, you go on to the next one, which is um, Hawkeye. Now, the way he ran, there was a narrow bridge. You point things out, it was a narrow bridge. And what he did, normally you have to go to the right behind him. Normally you have to run. So, he, see, Yami sees running, slide. I'm like, damn, these parkour, I know what they're doing. Now look, remember, narrow bridge. What he did, he jumped, he, he crossed to the other side. I was rolling in my row. I'm like, damn. Look, he jumped. What are you He jumped. Look, jump. Whoosh. Whoosh. And he passed him. And tagged the captain. I'm like, damn, he got static. For Armin, he actually good. Now, he was in the league, but think about think about the other guy he's racing. He's a defensive player. Meaning, while he's running, you go block from the side. And you go block from side to side. And you just run. He won't let him, he won't let him pass you. So, even if you're in front of him, he won't even let him pass you for a second. And he tri he's a trickster too, a little bit. Now the next one is now when they tag in. Now when they tag in, they got the other one named. Um, yeah, the guy with the glasses. The thing about him is that he's not much of a runner. While the other guy doing awesome tricks, I said to myself, do something. But he refuses. He said he, he now he admits to himself he's not much of a. Now in in spite of the running, he said he doesn't know he. He realized he can't match his tricks. So what he did is he just skipped the bar and just go straight. You know, he has no he didn't have the dare talent. So I don't blame him for running. Now he didn't remember, he's not that fast. So now remember Captain said, see you later. Now talk now talk to you, he went in. Now he, the guy was in the head start. He had a head start against him. And I'm like, okay. Now he reached the final corner, but then, out of the blue, he said, oh, it's behind you. What? And I'm like, did he pass him? He, he had a four second head start, but he literally passed, almost passed him. He's right, he's coming right behind you. Everybody was shocked, like, even the cap, even the, the even the, even the, even the last race, he's like, huh? And now, now the results, you can see the results. You see how close this shit was? You can't see it, but it's backwards. It says this, red team, 5'11", 26, blue team, 5'11", 68. You see how close that was? That was a little, that was almost close. And I'm like, oh my God, he was short 42 seconds. He was short 42 seconds. I'm like, damn. So he said high school team. I'm like, damn. He almost had him. He almost had him. Now I can't, now this, this was a good race, but I can't blame them for, I can't blame them. That was a hell of a race. My least problem was, again, with the glass, because he had no talent. If he had jumped over the bars, so and stuff, he would have, they would have won. But they had no team sponsor, so they had to cut. So long story short, the sister got him. His sister got him a shirt called Run Really. It's a new, new brand. So out with the old and with the new. Out with the blue jackets and with the white jackets. Now they're getting more popular. Now they're gonna be more, more races than ever. Now I'm like I said, this was a hell of a race. I'm just, I mean, I was shocked just how close that race was, and I was really happy to see all five of them did their best from the from flipping, from flipping forward, from doing somersaults, from do, from from parkour after parkour jumping. I was like, they, they put their heart out there, and yet they still, but they still missed. So I don't care, I don't care. This was one hell of a race. And I gotta say, I gotta clap for this because this was one of the most epic races that you have to watch. And I swear to God, I have to watch this. I will have to watch this over and over again because this was the first race. And it was only episode three. It was only episode three. I'm looking forward for episode four and I hope you will. So tune in next week.